What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as the Kree. Uh, we're currently fighting the Dutch over here in the northwest of our territory. And then we got a little expedition gone to the east, or if you'd like, you know, it's like the west, I guess if you if you if you believe the map, I don't, you know. Earth's flat. How, how are you gonna map that? Um, we're in the we're in the west. So I'm not sure I agree, but whatever, man. Uh, so we're basically fighting two wars. We made peace with Jaya, Jaya Varman of the Khmer, uh, which is good because I have really had no intention of fighting the guy. So being friends is going to be way better. What are you doing here, little artillery boy? You best be getting away from me now. Oh, wait, nope. Wake up. Blunder the trait route. That is some free money. So Trajan is the subject of a an emergency, so he'll be fighting Korea. In the meantime, I'm going to be swooping a little bit through that war as I fight Korea as well in like a separate war, which is pretty fun. Let's use our tank, right? Let's try it out. Yep, pretty good. Pretty good. Definitely not bad. All right, we're going to get some uh, some wheat over here. So we're currently leading in science. We got 294 per turn. We are actually a little bit below Korea, but we're about, you know, four techs ahead of them, which is pretty damn good. Uh, we just want to make sure that they don't get close to, to, you know, beating me. That would be bad. We want to make sure that we completely beat Korea and that there's no chance of them coming back and saying, Hey, what's up? So about that science victory, you know, I'd like to still be able to win. No, none of that. None of that. I won't have it. We're going to just completely obliterate them as, as best as we can. And that's basically our, our goal here. Um, as for the Dutch, like, we're basically trying to sort of hold them off for a little bit. Maybe get a nice peace deal out of that. That will give me a lot of money. Um, if we could liberate Hong Kong, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but the Dutch are, at this point, extremely weak. Their science is just very low at this point. It used to be very high. Their culture's, like, barely okay. Uh, their army is honestly pitiful. And then their religion, they have, they have zero converted cities. So... Currently, they have no chance of winning, so there's really no reason for us to, to come at them uh, extremely aggressively, because they have nothing. Give me Hong Kong. Nope. Okay. Look, I'm willing to make peace with you, because, again, I have really no, you know, reason to fight you. She's not willing to offer a lot. You know what? Let's, uh, maybe we'll, we'll come to a deal later. Right now, I'm not really feeling it, and apparently you are extremely desperate, so... We'll figure something out. The knight went for my ranger. That's fine. That's fine. A world without radio is a deaf world. Man, who even listens to radio anymore? Come on now. All right, I'm gonna shoot this little knight. Sorry, knight, but we have guns. Are you serious? Why is he still alive? Well, guess we're gonna have to kill him then. So we want to move up the artillery. They have a range of two, so we need to, we need to get really close to the city, so we can actually hit that. I'm gonna kill that artillery real quick. Well, not real quick, but I will kill it eventually. Let's roll over there a little bit. Let's get... Like, we started moving a few troops towards Hong Kong so we could take that, but we need more artillery to, um... I guess confidently take that. I'll take barding. We've discovered a source of aluminum, which is good. Over in Maskatu. Maybe an aerodrome. Honestly, not the worst idea in the world. At the same time, if we could get Ruhr Valley, that would be absolutely insane. Because you get plus one production for every mine and quarry. And we have a ridiculous amount of, uh, of quarries. However, it needs to be adjacent to an industrial zone district with a factory. And next to a river. So we, we can make it though, and I think it's absolutely going to be worth it. So we're trying to build that over there. Over here, let's get some wheat popping, a bit of food, and then let's see. We could get started on like a a nice campus or something, but this city is pretty pretty garbage. So let's grab a trader. Let's get you all of you guys into uh, Roman territory, where we are welcome. We were invited by their ruler, so we're allowed to go there. Alright, let's go over there. Alright, so we're making good progress here. We're starting to get really close to Korea, which I can only imagine they're not going to be super happy with. 
Okay, go heal. You're good. So with the Dutch mostly playing it defensively, oh, are you serious? You're sending an artillery core. So they have no melee units. I'm not being confused with you, man. You dug your own grave and now you're gonna lie in it. I am very sorry, but if you declare war on me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slap you around a little bit. Nope, get away from me. We need to get Greece back. For now, we'll just be friends. Although the alliance is pretty helpful, so let's keep a military alliance. I'll pay you a bit, sure. Because that gives us combat bonuses when we have a shared enemy. Which is pretty damn good. Let's fire this guy. Okay. Fire. Okay, well, we killed him. And these guys are, are very close to death immediately as well. Yeah, it turns out these machine guns are, are actually better than I thought they would be. But, uh, hey, that's pretty nice. We could get a harbor. Sure. I mean, I don't care about this city, and it doesn't really matter what it does. So, sure. Go ahead. Honestly, we could easily, easily snag one of these wonders. Question is which one we actually want. So we don't want St. Basil's Cathedral, because it really doesn't do much. Taj Mahal, it's like, it's meh. Casa de Contratación. That's alright. That one's alright. Eiffel Tower. I don't think we need that. Hermitage. Like, a lot of these wonders really sort of focus on getting you a lot of um, culture or tourism or, or something like that. I do like the, the Casa de Contratación because it gives you some nice governor promotions and then all cities on your non-home continent with a governor gain 15% uh, production, faith, and gold. Which is pretty good. Let's just build it, you know? I think it'll be worth it for sure. Also, I've never made it before, and it's sort of cool to make new stuff. Um, so how about that Hong Kong? Yeah, we need artillery to, to confidently, like, attack that and make sure that we, you know, win. Let's get some more wheat. It's hella good, hella good. All right, boys, look. I'm going to have to ask you to move up a bit. There you go. Let's see how much damage we can actually do to the city with artillery. Because my hopes are really not that high. I think that, like, our main strength would be just completely... ...surrounding the city with artillery and machine guns and just firing away. But, you know, we'll just, we'll just give this a go and see how that, um... ...how that works for us. Um, Dutchy. Dutch lady, hello. Look, I'm gonna need you to give me that. I'm gonna need you to give me like, oh, okay, that's too much. All right, never mind then. See you later. Soon enough, I'm sure we will come to an agreement because, like I said, I know that she has like no army. This is probably one of her last units remaining. Oh, I'm not sure what just happened. Um, you know, it's not a great deal, but we it, apparently they're like extra resources, so we were like free to trade those away. So yeah, let's do it. It's so sad. Uh, like, literally all my decisions based on... Uh, luxuries have been incorrect up to this point, then. Range that we can't hit? What do you mean? What do you mean? We have to move over there? Let's plunder a bit. So we don't want to attack in there, that would be bad. Hmm, I kind of want to pillage, but I also want to shoot. It's decent damage. Let's, uh, let's leave the money for now. Let's just focus completely on doing damage there. What are we looking? Oh, you. Okay, bye. See you later, buddy. My pledge was broken. Yeah, so... Rome wanted me to move my troops from their stuff, but I kind of need them as like a launching off point when we fight Korea. So I guess I technically lied. Oopsie. Mm, there's not much we can realistically do. Let's get bread and circuses going, I guess. At least it's something. Let's get a mech wop there. Because mech wops are good. Right, so the tank is sort of really important. I think at this point the Dutch have like no troops remaining, so we should be okay to move some stuff. You know, like this needs to repair the damage to their, um... Apparently we can't repair that damage. Maybe it, it just gets repaired over time still. Uh, we need to, to get to Hong Kong and just start attacking as well as we can. We do have N artillery on the way, but we want more than that. Maybe like a bomber eventually might be helpful, I don't know. 
I do know that the, the, the tank that we have is going to be super important to take this city. Alright, let's get you over there. Basically, we're just going to set up over there. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm really sorry about lying to you, Rome. That was not nice of me, but... You know, I just need to get close to Korea. So I'm really just using you to, uh, to do that. Oh, can't go further. Just heal. We are going to get rocketry very, very soon. Oh, look at that. She's offering a pretty good peace deal now. But since we know she has no army, you know, I'm just going to go for it. Like, I'm just going to liberate Hong Kong and get lots of um, positive rep around the world. Rome made a nice seaside resort. Wow. That must be very exciting for them. Yeah, we could do some good damage, but... The downside is that we're going to actually lose our... Now we're not going to lose them quite yet, I don't think. Let's just fire. Let's just fire. Let's play it a little bit unsafe, right? Let's get a little crazy. Pillage. Um, grants one oil. A strategic resource. Your trade routes gain plus two gold. It's alright. I'll take them. It's not a bad merchant at all. There's definitely worse ones out there. Ferris wheel. Yes, please. I want that water park to be... The most beautiful water park that anyone has ever seen. Let's see, can you... No, you already did everything. Like, I kind of want to get over there and sort of surround the city and besiege it, but okay. Guess we can't really do that. We can do that, though. Um, Alright, let's move the rest of the artillery and, and the machine guns and stuff up. Movement is so slow here. Rome, fix your shit. Do I want to chop that down? I don't think I do. I might want to chop this down, though. Because it's next to a river and all that. Okay, so... Heal? And... Oh, wait, we can move. Okay, yep, so... All we really have is one machine gun that can fire at the, uh... At the city here. Let's see if we can besiege it with what we have currently. I'm not entirely sure that we can, but, you know, we should try. Let's go over there. All we gotta do now is cross that river. I mean, the tank alone is really not quite gonna cut it. What we're looking for is artillery. Alright, so John Rockefeller, let's do it, buddy. That should get me some oil, which I don't really care about, but then it's also gonna get me a bunch of extra money, which I, I do care about. Uh, the next scientist really isn't that amazing either. You gain signs for every artifact in the city, but we have zero artifacts currently, so... It's probably not gonna be very worth it ex exactly, but okay. Okay, so they do some damage. If they got the AT- or the, um, the, um, the city and the, uh, and Kamen both working together. Nope, no peace deal. I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of it. When you launch a rocket, you're not really flying that rocket. You just sort of, when you launch a rocket... Yep, rocketry done. There's still nanotechnology. Let's do advanced flight. That guy doesn't need that promotion, okay. Wait, this guy wasn't attacked, like, at all, so... Alright. Guess I'm just gonna fire away, then. If you're not gonna shoot at me, then yeah. That's your loss, man. So we can't... We could move there. I don't like that, though. I want to cross the river. Alright, extra machine gun. So this guy should just heal. Um, we're going to try to steal advanced flight. We stole nanotechnology. How do you already have that, though? Is my main question. Like, I really just want to push for, like, sort of the, the main projects that we need to do for the, uh, for the victory here. Uh, sure, granary should be okay. I mean, that city is not going to be very useful, but, you know. Just going to do what I can. So we want to trade with Attack Coop, I think. Because of great food and great production. And possibly, in fact, well, the sewer is not really not necessary. We got a ton of housing. Okay. Maybe a campus, even though, like, eh, I'm not so sure about that anymore either.
Industrial zone, but we get zero bonuses. Commercial hub, but we get... Yeah, that's pretty okay. Let's just invest in that. Let's send this guy over to the Dutch border. Oh, they have some artillery set up in there. That's annoying. That's really annoying, actually. Okay. You know what? Let's just fall back. It's clear that they can't really do that much damage. And we really just want to wait for the artillery to show up. And then even then, like, Hong Kong's not our uh, priority by any means. It's just, you know, just an option that we have. Okay, let's go. So it does look like Korea made a few more units, but it's just two infantry and they have a knight, and that's pretty much it, I think. So... I so Something tells me... A little birdie tells me that you're probably not going to win this war by doing that. This is a good deal, so I'm going to take that. Yeah, it's, it's actually very strange that we still have friends despite being a bunch of jerks. Oh, did we lose our ranger? Wow. Yeah, they really went all out on that guy. Well, artillery. I am afraid to say... Mm, I kind of want to shoot that guy for sure. Let's fire the wall. I think we just about have enough to destroy the, um, the garrison or the fortifications and then also kill this guy. Yep. Looking good. City will not be healing. So basically, we're going to take the Korean capital in, like, no time at all, which is beautiful. Um, I kind of would like to make a spaceport. Because we're gonna need these, like, you know, we're gonna need at least a couple of them to, uh, to win our space victory. Not over here. That seems like a bad idea. Definitely would like one in the capital, though, after we finish our, our beautiful wonder. Alright, get over there. Alright, so just play defensively until we figure out a way in and once we have our artillery. Um, sure, keep keep the trade going. Alright, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's kind of funny that we didn't even need our whole army or even like... You know, we just completely split up our army and we're still beating them. Um, I could take that. Like, again, I have very little business with the... Du I'll, I'll just take it. You know what? I'll take it. I like to focus on just one thing for now. Enemy spy has escaped. And he neutralized our governor. Pingala. Sources gained? Okay, so our own spies are getting ready for action right now. Our machine gun is... Uh, okay, promotion. I like that a lot. So our main goal right now is to just take the city. It's gonna take a bit of shooting, but... Oh, we almost got him. Actually... Yeah, we got him. So let's do that, and let's do this. And the Korean capital is officially ours. There will be a rebellion, but... Hey, we stole that, so let's get a monument. Honestly, I can't think of a single way that, lo that the loyalty will stick, but... By doing this... It should lead to Korea not being able to make a lot of progress with their... Okay, let's actually put you in the capital and counter spy. Uh, takes no time to establish presence. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Okay, let's go over there. So you're good. So we're at peace with the Dutch now, so we don't really have to worry about them anymore. From this point onward, we're going completely and fully after the Koreans, after which uh, we will probably go for Greece, who is currently our ally, so it's kind of a jerk move, but... What am I going to do? Just let them win the game? Like, their culture is pretty strong. So is their religion, but I sort of stopped them there already. Uh, okay, so we probably knocked back Korea by like a whole bunch. Let's steal advanced flight. Or at least, you know, let's try. Um, reduce loyalty. That could be good. Let's try that. Oh, this city is huge. That's pro Okay, actually both these cities are absolutely massive, so... That's probably one of the reasons why loyalty is so much of an issue. Um... Question is, have we stopped Korea enough, or do we want to go further with this? She's willing to cede the city. How much money will you give me? How about like, 60? Okay, that's a bit much, isn't it? I meant to type 60. 60? She'll do 60. 60 
65, 60, maybe like 68, 69 is too much. 67 will do. 68. She just really does not like the number 69. All right, you know what? Deal. Because I know. Are you serious? She still has that much science per turn. Economic gain is like burning a Renaissance painting to cook a meal. She still has that much science after we took her capital city. How does that even work? Seriously. Um. Okay, so the extra strength is actually quite nice. I enjoy that a lot. So I think I might just keep this. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep what I have. Uh, let others say what they will, but the real flourishing of modern era culture began with the rise of conservation in the cream. Uh, and we, we took their, their capital, so we get a bunch of error score for that as well. Although, we might be forced to, uh, to do a bit more damage. She does have mechanized infantry already, which is a little scary, but oh well. Let's see, mass media is not bad. I like mobilization for sure, though. I should probably go for that. That's going to save me a lot of money. Karakorum. Probably just finish up the bank for now. Aksu. Get a monument. Envoys. Like, I want to send them to Antioch, actually. Or Antanarivo. That's a bunch of culture, which isn't bad. All right. Let's do that. Uh, sure. Keep training with Karakorum. Spy. Wait, aren't you my counter-spy man? Count just counter-spy. Probably... the campus? But I'm not really sure. Let's just, let's just do the, the main city, whatever. Alright, so our artillery is ready. Sure, get me that ranger. You're good. You know, we should get mechanized infantry as well. Just so we can actually stop um, Korea a little bit easier. Uh, I feel like I should reassign this guy maybe to Gyeongju. We need to figure out a way to get more loyalty here. And obviously the happiness is not looking great. We do have a great campus, a holy site commercial hub, great city center, Namaste Saint Michel. So we want to keep this for sure. Um, but it looks like we might have to go to war with Korea again. Uh, especially if we ever see that they make, you know, any spaceship parts or anything quite like that, then we'll... We'll just basically be forced to, uh... To reignite the war, even though... Alright, uh, aluminum's already there. Okay, get a mecha wop. Alright, so we might be forced to go to war again with them later, because apparently it doesn't even matter. Like, yeah, they're below me now, but... It barely hurt them losing their, um... Losing their capital, which is honestly insane. I don't understand how that's even possible. So we might have to just destroy them a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm a warmonger. We're all aware of that, okay? I wasn't trying to hide it. It's not like a, like a, like a shameful secret that I have. Losing loyalty, I am aware. We could declare a colonial war on Jai Varman. Um, aqueduct's not bad. It's just we'd have to remove a, a tile that is pretty good. I'm not really sure I want to do that. An industrial zone, I, th I like that idea. This city has a huge population, so getting it a, a, a large amount of production is going to be, I think, very useful. Uh, meeting house, I like those. Yeah, let's do that for now. You're good. So it's going to flip in like two turns and there's absolutely nothing we can really do about it. We can get some iron. Let's go get some iron. So we're just waiting just like slightly outside of the territory so that we can march in again as soon as it rebels and uh, retake it. Although sadly, we are not allowed or able to raise the city, which is, you know, that's something I, I wouldn't mind doing if, it, if only it um, stopped the Koreans from making any sort of progress, but... Yep, no, they're they're pretty fine. They're actually ahead of me by a little bit now. Which seems ridiculous. Where are you getting all this science if not from your capital city, man? To be fair, their capital city is in a really shitty spot, but... 
I was definitely hoping for more. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you here for now. I hope you all enjoyed. In the next part, we're going to hopefully finish our Casa de Contratación in the capital. And um, maybe start our spaceport, because we do need to do that pretty soon. In fact, it's it's, it's like way more important than the Wonder, but I just want to make it, because it's cool. And... Um, We'll also probably declare at least one more war, whether it be on the Dutch or Korea, although I think it's going to be Korea. Um, because we need to stop them, and they're like, you know, they're still too strong, and they might still be able to, to make some real progress. Because they're building a spaceport. Oh, that's the Ruhr Valley. Oh, that's bad as well. I thought it was a spaceport. They also have the mausoleum. So they got some nice wonders here and there that I'd love to steal. They are building a spaceport, or this is already a spaceport. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta really get on Korea's case here and, um, just kick them out of the game. Because once we do that, then it's basically guaranteed that we'll win. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.